One of the most important aspects when it comes to making videos on YouTube or anywhere is audio. You can have a fancy schmancy cinematic camera, but if you have a crappy mic or crappy audio, people are not going to want to listen to that. They're just going to click off faster than if you had a horrible webcam and great audio. If you're making videos and you're just using the built-in camera microphone, it is definitely not recommended by a lot of people to do so. Camera mics are just not great. They're far away from you and make the room sound echoey. I've gone through using a lot of different types of microphones on this channel. Lately, my main one being the Rode Pod mic, which is a dynamic microphone so that I can cancel out room noise and not pick up a lot of sound. I have fans on in this room right now because it's hot. My wife is over there working and you can't hopefully really hear that. Then again, I'm also not using this microphone at all. That's right, you've been bamboozled. The microphone I'm actually using right now is clipped onto my shirt, which you might have noticed before I revealed that top 10 anime betrayal just now. That's right, this microphone is actually part of a wireless lavalier mic set provided by today's sponsor, Kimafoon. And though this is a sponsored video and they did send this out for review, most of my reviews are technically sponsored. They're sent to me by the company that wants me to review them, and I do sometimes potentially earn compensation if you purchase them. Well, today's video is no different. I'm going to give you guys my unbiased, honest opinion about this microphone set. And there's a lot to unpack here, literally, because the carrying case is packed with a bunch of stuff. Inside this solid, hard, protective zip-up carrying case, you're going to receive a wireless receiver with a 3.5 millimeter jack. Currently, I have it plugged into the microphone port of my Panasonic Lumix G7, which I do not super recommend just because I'm a little worried as far as it sticks out that it is going to put pressure either on the port that is in the camera or the plug that is on the receiver. So far it does seem to be okay though. It's not like it's very heavy and the flip out screen is kind of supporting the weight a little bit, which is a little funny. And that receiver plugged into the camera is receiving signal from this transmitter, which is plugged into this cable, which ends up at the microphone that is clipped here on my shirt. There are two of these transmitters included, so you can actually record up to two subjects at once, all going to the receiver, which is going to plug into either your camera, your smartphone, your tablet, your PC, what have you, whatever 3.5 millimeter jack device you can plug into and record. It seems so far that you can plug that into those and uh, you're good to go. Honestly, the instruction manual didn't even say that you could plug this thing into a camera. I just decided to plug into mine and try it because why wouldn't it work? And so far in all my testing, it seems to work like a charm. There are a total of four microphones included. You get two headset microphones that go around the back of your head. So if you don't mind having a microphone that is just out here in front of your face, that is an option for you. You just goes around the back of your head, over your ear, and you look like you're about ready to film your own infomercial. If you like to have things a little more subtle like myself, it does have two lav mics just like this one that clip onto your shirt or what have you. Each of them plugs into the 3.5 millimeter jack that is dangling from the transmitter and they each also have a screwing thread at the end of the cable so that you can make sure it's secure and that it won't come off in case anything gets snagged while you're recording. Aside from the main inclusion of the receiver, transmitters, and microphones, there are a ton of accessories in here. There are two clips included which you can use to slide onto the transmitter transmitter so that you can clip it to your belt or your pocket or whatever you might want to. Each of the four microphones includes a little windscreen that rests on there, but in addition, in case one of those gets damaged or lost, there are four replacements included, as well as a quarter inch adapter so you can plug the 3.5 millimeter jack on the receiver into that in case you need to record to anything that only has a quarter inch jack. There is also a USB adapter that you can plug into your computer so that you can plug the receiver into the microphone jack and some headphones into the headphone jack on the adapter. So in case you want to monitor the recording and you're using a laptop or something where you just prefer to use USB or have no other option, that has an adapter included in the package so you can just use it like that. Similarly, there is a splitter that you can plug into your smartphone or tablet or what have you so that you can monitor through headphones or just listen to something through headphones while wirelessly transmitting audio from one of the microphones to the receiver into your phone. The receiver and two transmitters each charge through a micro USB cable. Fortunately, you don't need three different micro USB cables or to charge all of these separately. They thought of everything by including a three-way split cable that has three micro USB plugs at the end 
and one USB-A at the other end so that you can plug all three in all at once and charge them all up at the same time. Now, while they did think of basically everything you might need for this, the only thing they didn't include, which is a little weird, is a power brick to plug the charger into. But that's not a huge deal. I mean, everybody these days has at least a couple of those laying around somewhere. That's why Apple didn't include one with their new Apple Watch. Everybody really does have at least a few of those laying around. And if you don't, you can just plug it into your computer, for example. There's also a thick boy little instruction manual that you're going to need to look at because there is a lot to go through here. So that whatever device you might be using this on, you're going to know exactly what you need to do to set it up and get it up and running. So far, testing it with my camera, I literally just plugged it into the microphone jack on the camera turned on the receiver and transmitter and it just works. I do have my camera turned down minus 12 decibels because that's just what I always have it set to for any external microphone. So I do see it is a little bit loud compared to what I normally have it set at. In fact, if I raise my voice a little, I can see that it's clipping, but fortunately I can turn down the volume because there are volume buttons on the transmitters. So that if you're a little bit too loud, you see that you're peaking like I am a little bit, you can just give that a click or two until everything is good looks like everything is good on my screen there i'm not peeking anymore so that sounds great it might sound a little bit weird because i did that in the middle of recording i might have to uh, adjust the volume and post there but uh, hey it happens we're learning as we go folks that's how we do things here on this channel the batteries can be fully recharged in about two to three hours with a five volt usb adapter and once it is charged it's supposed to last between six to seven hours i haven't fully had the chance to test out that battery life but so far, I've been at recording for about an hour now, off and on, because I uh, kind of messed up an earlier recording, so uh, I had to re-record this. But uh, I haven't plugged anything back in, and everything seems to be fine. The green light on the transmitter here, at least, seems to be perfectly fine. Once the battery gets low, it's supposed to flash red, and so far it looks like we're okay. According to the manual, the wireless distance is supposed to be up to 50 feet in normal occasions, but if you're in like a wide open unobstructed area, it supposedly can go up to 100 feet. I don't really have a way of testing that. This is a pretty small room. I'm gonna go outside right now though and test just to see if there's any kind of interference or change in noise. There's gonna be some outside noise when I go outside right now, but aside from that, we'll see how the microphone holds out. I'm going to leave the camera here. Okay, so I'm going to record myself talking with my phone, but the microphone is still going to be on me. You know I keep that thing on me. And meanwhile, the camera is going to be just recording my desk. I'm going to split it here. You're going to see it right now. I'm stuck to the table. Hang on one sec. Okay, so I'm standing in front of a fan. You might hear some noise, but I'm about to go outside. That's my desk back there. Uh, it's a little bit messy, but I'm going to go outside right now. We're going to test this thing out. The microphone audio is still coming. This audio you're hearing right now is still coming from this microphone, not from this microphone. Okay, so I'm outside, this is the backyard. Don't look, it's messy right now. Uh, you could probably hear birds maybe. I don't know how much noise this thing picks up, but I'm outside quite a distance away now. I, can't, I have no idea how it sounds. I have no way of monitoring or testing anything out. You can see how gray my hair is in the sunlight, but uh, you know, so far, so good. There's dogs, you guys wanna see some dogs? Come here. This is a microphone review, folks. Look at my dog. Hello, it seems to be doing okay. I'm just out here to test out. You know, actually with the birds right above me, this is a good way of testing out the noise level, uh, you know, to see how noisy, if, if, what it picks up. Because it does have the windscreen on. There's nature and there's fresh air and I hate it. Okay, so I'm walking a bit further away. There's leaves crunching beneath my feet. Okay, so this is probably as far away as I can get from my desk. Uh, it, I would say this is maybe more than 50 feet. So. I'll, We'll see how it sounds. Uh, I'm gonna take everything inside, just upload everything to my computer, start editing and uh, test everything out, see how it goes, and then we'll come back here for a final impressions in just a moment. Ugh. A leaf went in my shoe. All right, it's been a couple of days since I filmed the first part of this video. Now, instead of having the microphone and everything plugged into my camera, I have the receiver plugged in via the, three, uh, the quarter inch jack into the front of my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 Gen 3 audio interface. But anyway, I thought I'd try different audio sources to show you guys to see if there's any difference in the sound 
This is my first time actually recording and listening to it. I was monitoring to make sure I could hear myself. I had to turn the gain up on the Scarlet to about 65% in order for this to pick anything up. The audio you're currently listening to has some noise removal effects that I use in Audacity, as well as using the broadcast preset on the multiband compressor in Premiere Pro and the uh, vocal enhancer preset on the parametric equalizer. If you don't know what that means, it's cool. But if you do know what that means, hopefully this helps you give you an idea. That's just to give you an example of what you're hearing right now. And now the audio is unedited just straight from the microphone, except maybe I might have to adjust the volume to just keep it consistent. But uh, I'm just gonna shut up for a moment. The room, I have no fans on in front of me this time. There is a fan about uh, six or seven feet away from me that is on facing another direction. And the door that leads to the aviary that you heard earlier in the video uh, outside is open so I'm just gonna shut up and you can tell me if you hear any noise my wife is also working so you might hear her type I'm obviously not monitoring this as I record so I do not know what you hear right now or not all right, now I do want to talk about the loss of signal when I went outside earlier in the video. I don't know exactly how far away the very corner of my backyard is. I would imagine just eyeballing it maybe 60, 70 feet. I, that could be a huge overshot. It's not like super close from where I'm sitting right now, which is where the receiver was at the time. But uh, in addition to that, I have a metal door. There was a brick wall, there was a wood wall, there are trees. There was a lot of things that may have caused interference. So while it did start cutting in and out while I got a bit of a distance away, there is interference there that uh, may come into play. And obviously with any type of wireless signal, if you want a consistent signal, you want to be careful of any interference anyway. My house isn't very big and I don't have a way of testing this thing at a great distance with no interference. All right, now I have the receiver plugged into the USB adapter that comes with the Kimafoon kit and I have it plugged into a USB 3.0 hub on my computer and uh, this is how it sounds. I do notice that on the waveforms on Audacity, they're a lot smaller so I'm gonna probably have to turn it up a lot more. All right, so overall, what do I think of this Kimafoon wireless microphone set? Personally, I've never used any other wireless microphone set, so I really don't know what to compare it to as far as what to expect for audio quality and range, but I will say, just taking a quick look on Amazon, for example, you will see a lot of sets ranging anywhere from 50 to even a few hundred dollars, but this right now on Amazon is $89.99, and I think for what you're getting it's a great value the fact that I was able to just set this thing up and plug it in and get going within seconds a couple you know a couple minutes it was no headache at all the charging is fairly quick and does last a while I had the receiver and transmitter both turned off over the past couple days since I last recorded the first part of this video but I didn't charge them at all and I have them all both on right now and I've been recording for maybe about 30 minutes or so as of right now as you can see the light here on the transmitter is green so uh we're good to go on the battery life there. Also, look at how small this thing is. It's very tiny, and the receiver is the same exact size, and you can just clip it onto your belt or your pocket, and that's it. You can just put it all in that little carrying case and take it on the go, and it's easy. But if you look at the competition, you've got these huge Walkman-sized things that you've got to hook onto the back of your belt. That's probably not very comfortable to sit around in, is it? I don't know how they did it on The Office for nine years. Missed that show. So overall, going into this blind as a brand new user, first time user of a microphone set like this, of any kind of wireless microphone, I would say that you're getting an incredible value for what you're getting, and I think you should seriously consider checking it out. I've shown you guys the ins and outs, the ups and downs of this product. It's not perfect, but nothing budget really is, and though this is still $90, it is still considered to be budget in the spectrum of other wireless microphones. Just go in with your expectations knowing that you are paying for a budget product. In other words, what I'm saying is don't plug this thing in in your backyard and then run to the front yard and then be like, why didn't it record anything? That's all I'm saying. You guys can check it out in the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here and you like this video, I don't do a lot of microphone videos, but I do various videos like this in this style so consider subscribing if you're new here hit the like button leave a comment tell your friends to watch the video if you like this video you can watch this microphone review here that i've done recently or you can watch uh, this video here which is uh i mean look at that one isn't that cool 
I have no idea what I'm going to put there right now as I'm filming this. <laughs>